I'm being all like professional and stuff today, all right, because we're talking about money. And the best way to talk about money is to give you some examples, something that you can actually look at and see. So we're talking about how to add passive income to your monthly needs today, okay? And I've got my microphone set up over here, so remind me that I need to stand on this side. Hey, Julie, can you hear me? Can you hear me when I talk over here because my microphone's over here? I hope so. Just let me know in the comments, okay? All right, so how are we going to add passive income if we don't have any money to start with, right? Like, that's what we want to do is get money from real estate every single month, but we don't have any money to start with. All right, so let me tell you what I've done on this house. Um, this is a case study on, okay, perfect, thank you, uh, 2008 Whole Avenue case study, okay? So what I did with this house is I had it under contract for owner financing, okay? So I had owner financing for $6,000 total purchase price. And that broke down to like $200 a month. All right, and I had 90 days to figure out what I was gonna do with this thing. All right, and this is me. I had it owner financed for a purchase price of $6,000 at $200 a month, and I think it was gonna take three or four years or however long that works out, all right? Notice I wasn't putting any money down on this property, and this is a little dinky house, all right? I get it, this is a little dinky house, but these deals work on $100,000 houses, on $500,000 houses, like this works anywhere and everywhere, all right? This is just the most recent one that I've done, so we're gonna use it as an example. Okay, so I'm buying the house for $6,000 on terms, owner finance, because it was free and clear, at $200 a month. So I put it out there for sale or a lease option for $15,000 as the new purchase price and $400 a month. Okay? So I have created myself a little bit of monthly money here, right? If I can get somebody to come in and get, agree to give me 15000 for this house and give me $400 a month and I'll give them two or three years, however long it's going to take to pay me off. But the kicker is I'm going to get some money down in an option fee. All right, and in a math problem, I mean, what, what makes a math problem really good? It's when there's a letter in it, okay? When, we, when we're solving for X, that's what makes math fun, right? So that's what we're doing in this situation. I'm not putting anything down, and we just got to figure out what the market will give me as an option fee. But either way, I'm looking at about $200 a month between my payment and what they're going to pay me. All right, but let me just tell you that I put this out there. I had a lot of people look at the house. And as you can imagine, I had a lot of different offers. I had a lot of different situations. I had a lot of different things that people were offering to do. But I couldn't find anybody to give me 15000 I couldn't find anybody to give me 15000 for the house. But the neighbor told me they would give me 12000 All right? So I couldn't get anybody for fifteen, but I get I did get somebody who would give me 12000 And they didn't want to give me 400 a month, but they would give me 300 a month. So I'm getting 300 a month, which I'm going to double between 6000 and 12000 I'm going to end up doubling my money, and I'm going to get $100 a month right here, right? Between my payments, 200 and they're paying me 300 now I'm making $100 a month for nothing. But what co what's cool is the X factor. The X factor is 
the fun part of this. So I asked my tenant buyer, who is going to do this lease option for me, they're going to be buying this house for me. I asked the tenant buyer, I said, how much will you give me to move into the house? How much will you give me up front? And they said, we'll give you $5,000. And on this deal, because it was such a small little deal, I told them if they'd give me $5,000 up front, I would give them that towards their purchase price. So now, they only owe me $7,000. Okay? So, they've paid me $5,000. They're going to pay me $300 a month. And they still owe me $7,000. But now, wait a second, I still owe the seller, right? Well, once I had this 5000 I knew they were going to give me this 5000 I met them at the bank, they gave me the 5000 cash, put it straight in the bank. I called my seller and I said, hey, let's forget about this owner financing deal. If I was going to give you cash, like cash money on Friday, how much money will you take for that house? Any guesses on how much he said that he would take for that house? I was going to give him 6000 over a couple years and pay him $200 a month. But now that I have somebody else's money, I have OPM, other people's money, of $5,000. Now that I have somebody else's $5,000, I called my seller and I renegotiated. I said, how much will you take if I can just buy this thing? right now, or on Friday, you know, whenever they get the title work down. He said, I'll take $3,000. All right. And that means I don't owe him anything per month. I don't owe him that. I owe him $3,000. So, $3,000 is my purchase price. I've already sold it to somebody for twelve thousand, and they gave me five thousand down. So I took three thousand of this five thousand, and I paid off my seller. So I bought the house with somebody else's money for three thousand dollars. That means I made two grand for buying this house, and they're still going to pay me three hundred dollars a month for the next two years or whenever they pay off the balance of $7,000 that they still owe me. So, real quick, in summary, I'm adding $300 a month for the next two years to my income because I don't owe anything on this house. It's free and clear. It's all mine now. I got $5,000 up front. They still owe me $7,000 and they're going to pay me $300 a month. Guys, I literally have no money in on this deal. And all in, all total, I paid $3,000 for it, and I sold it for $12,000. So I'm going to make $9,000 over the next two years for pushing some papers, putting a bandit sign out, and talking. I did not sweat. I did not flip this property. I've never even been in this house. Okay? I've driven by it twice. And I'm going to make $9,000. $300 a month for the next 24 months. I can either keep that $300 so that, you know, if I find another $3,000 house in 10 months, I can use this to buy another one. That'll bring me money. Or I can use this $300 and put it towards my hair. <laughs> I can put it towards my car payment. I can put it towards my principal. Um, you know, $300 is coming into my account every single month, whether I feel like working or not. And this deal took me about six weeks. So I made up front $2,000 and 
and I created a $300 a month cash flow situation. So if you could do one of these deals, and even if you were doing it on bigger houses, but you were still able to get $300 a month, if you did one house a month for the rest of the year, that would be three times, uh, well, no, hold on. Let's say you do it for a full year, okay? So if you were making $300 off one little dinky deal and you did one a month, what's 300 times 12? That's 3,600? That would be 3,600 a month. Not just one time, but a month. $3,600 a month if you did one of these deals a month for the next year. Plus, remember, I got to keep 2,000 of this. So if I got just 2,000 every month, that would be 2,000 times 12. There's 24,000 that I would have collected in free and clear option fees. 24,000 free and clear option fees. Plus, I created a $300 a month that just comes to me, guys. I don't have to go to somebody's house and set up a jewelry party or a Tupperware party or anything else. I don't have to go, you know, stand outside and do anything. I don't have to swing a hammer. I don't have to hold an open house. I don't have to do squat except check my bank account and make sure that $300 came in every month. And this is a little bitty dinky deal. Imagine if we were buying like a, uh, a $300,000 house and we could make $1,000 a month on it. And get, you know, I've had people give me $40,000 option fees to move into my houses before. This is money, guys. Money coming at me every single month. Because I know how to do some, you know, this isn't fancy math. This is just basic math. So, you know, let me ask you, how much are you making a month right now? What would you do if you were making an extra 3600 a month? You could either quit your job or maybe you could be closer to bringing your husband home from his corporate job or maybe you could uh, you know start another business you know thirty six hundred dollars a month could start another business that you were wanting to get into it could fund your hobbies thirty six hundred dollars a month that'd be awesome to put towards you know the kids expenses and vacation funds and um, you know paying off a car I mean, $3,600 a month is not too terribly difficult to get to in doing these kind of deals. All right? And even if we had a house and it was $100,000 and we found somebody that was going to give us, uh, you know, twenty or 30000 down, we could call the seller and say, hey, if I give you more right now, maybe you would take fifty or 60000 over the next couple years. There's all sorts of ways to go back and renegotiate with these sellers, but you have to get the first contract first. Then you have to put it out to the market to see what the market's gonna wanna do. Then you go back and renegotiate. These deals are fun, guys. Very, very fun. I didn't flip this house. I didn't go in this house. I had this house advertised for like six weeks. These deals are out there. If you're in California, you may not be able to buy anything for $6,000, but in Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, all over the South, you ought to be able to find some little dinky deals like this and create a $300 a month cash flow on a free and clear property. Or if you have to get a, a sandwich lease option and you have to do, um, you know, where you're paying out $800 a month, but you can rent it for $1,300 a month. Well, now we're making 500 bucks a month. 
and we don't have to clock in for it. And if you do one of those every month for the next 12 months, 500 times 12 is 6,000. So you'd be bringing in 6,000 a month plus option fees. For most of you, 6,000 a month would change your life. I know it would. You've told me on the phone it would. So let's get started. Every week that you wait, every week that you put it off, every uh, weekend and every trip and every night when you tell me that you have to get your husband's permission before you can get started in this is another week and month and weekend and day behind that you're not achieving your goals and you're not getting out there to create these situations. All right, ladies, it's go time. Men, it's go time. There is no time like the off one deal. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know that would change your life. So let's get started. Go to WhitneyNicely.com. Share this video. If you liked it, share it, share it, share it. If you have any questions, send them to me. This is just one example of like 54 deals that I've done in the last three years. And, you know, I've got, I think, 19 houses right now. 19 houses that pay me somewhere between $100 and $800 a month. 19. 100 to 18 to 800 a month. Just one a month. You can do it. I can help you get there. So let's get started. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Go to WhitneyNicely.com or uh, you know, share the Facebook page, CoachWhitneyNicely.com. Oof, hit myself in the glasses. <laughs> Bye, guys.